Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the block diagram. So generally, we already discussed in order to represent any system, we are using two methods. One is block diagram, another one is signal flow graphs. Here, block diagram is useful for representing the system. Representing the system. Any system can be represented by using the block diagram. That means by looking at the block diagram, we will analyze characteristics of the system. That means, so look at here. So this is a block diagram of a small system. That is, the system has the input of RS and its transfer function is G of S and C of S is the output. So, the transfer function of the system is open loop transfer function of the system is we can write G of S equal to C of S by R of S. So, we are representing the transfer function in terms of blocks. That's why it is called as a block diagram. Right. This is for open loop transfer function. So, this is for closed loop transfer function. Here also system has input, system represents with the output and this is the forward gain or open loop gain and this is the feedback gain. And this, this system, <coughs> for this system we can write the transfer function, closed loop transfer function that is G of S by 1 plus g of s into h of s simply any system the system gains can be represented in terms of blocks look at here these are the blocks the representation is known as the block diagram simply right this block diagram has some properties so here whenever the first property is whenever blocks in cascaded blocks means those gains those transfer functions in cascaded mode that is the diagram is like, like this is the input and this is the output gains are like this it consisting of the three gains g1 g2 g3s so for this purpose at this point the signal will be like this r of s into g1 of s that means this gain into this gain into this signal. At this point, we have already signal is RS G1 of S into G2 of S. And finally, at this point, the signal value is G1 of S, G2 of S and G3 of S into the input is R of S. So this is the method. This is the method. So finally, we can write the system transfer function is like this R of S by C. System transfer function is output by input. What is output? Output is C of S. The input is R of S. And the, the transfer function is like this G1 of S into G2 of S into G3 of S. So, whenever gains are cascaded, the gains will be multiplied G1, G2 g3 so this is the property first property of the block diagrams next the second property is if blocks in parallel connection blocks in parallel connection means look like this that means the given input signal will be flowing through the g1 of s2 again output same this r of s is flowing through the g2 of s2 output this input it flowing through the g3 of s2 c of s so for this purpose how can we write the output so we can write i can write output is like this so to get the output c of s i can write so output is signal input signal into the gain that means r of s into g1 of s second 
and the output is input into this signal because this will be flow like this so r of s g2 of s and third input signal will be flow through the g3 of s r of s g3 of s from this we can write the transfer function that is output by input is g1 of s plus g2 of s plus g3 of s so whenever blocks connected parallel like these the transfer function is value is the total gains will be added the gains will be added when the gains are connected in when the gains are connected in series that case the total transfer the gains will be multiplied look at here here the multiplication but here there is the here gains will be added so we will note one point the point is block diagram of a system is a pictorial representation look at here these are the pictorial representations this look like a pictorial representation of a function performed by each component it will show the each and every component so observe here so it is a pictorial representation it represents gains in the blocks and it shows the input as well as output okay this is the block diagram representation block diagram representation so we will discuss a problem here rfs is the input g1 of s and h1 of g1 of s h1 and g2 h2 so find the transfer function so generally whenever the problem is given like this just divide into two parts what is this c of s value generally what is this divided into two parts this is the first part and this is the second part so look at it for this part what is the transfer function value we have we are having the two transfer function it consists of the transfer function one and it consisting of the transfer function two All right so what is the value of the transfer function one you can take it as transfer function one directly g1 by 1 plus g1 into h1 for transfer function 2 so g2 h2 and this is the feedback then i can write directly g2 by 1 plus g2 into h2 and it's look like r of s it consisting of the transfer function 1 and it is cascaded with the transfer function 2 and it given to the output then then output by input value is like this transfer function 1 into transfer function 2 whenever cascaded like this then the total transfer function is multiplication of these two terms that is 1 plus g1 h1 into 1 plus g2 h2 so this is the total transfer function of the given block diagram okay <clears throat> next next we have one important topic that is Maasen's gain formula this is the Maasen's gain formula it is very very important to solve the block diagrams generally block diagram sometimes gives more complicated blocks number of loops will be increases that cases that case the Maasen's gain formula is very much useful that is here the formula is t is summation of k equal 1 to infinite we can take k equal 1 to k in the last point pk into del k by del this t means nothing but transfer function simply 
transfer function that value is summation of k equal 1 to pk into del k by del so here t is overall gain overall gain or the another name is the transfer function pk means path gain of the kth forward path so generally in order to reach input to output we have more number of sometimes we have a forward path like this sometimes we have a forward path another path sometimes we have a forward path from a different path the path from input to output is known as the forward path so we have n number of paths are available so this is the k path what is del k del k means the value of del associated with the k path simply del k means value of value of del associated with the k path del means which path it consisting of the del okay del k del del is the important factor 1 minus sum of loop gains so we have in the block diagram all signal flow graphs we have number of loops available this is sum of loop gains plus sum of gain product of the two non-touching loops so by two non-touching loop by protecting we will get next thought sum of gain product of the three non-touching non loops so this is the formula so we will understand formula by taking one example you will clearly understand the how the formula will be applicable okay so this is the Mosses gains formula it consisting of the more number of problems that time we will understand next next we have a one problem regarding the block diagram find the transfer function for below block diagram look at here these are the blocks g1 g2 summing points g2 h1 these are the summing points so we have to find out we have to find out we have to find out for the transfer function so for that purpose first find out number of loops how many loops are forward paths how many forward paths we have so first forward path 1 p1 is look at here input to output g1 and this is the g2 g1 g2 is the forward path next what is forward path 2 what is forward path 2 look at here this is the another forward path look at here this path is the another forward path right so that forward path is g3 into g2 g3 into g2 okay these are the two forward path what is del del equal to 1 minus how many loops we have look at here is this loop g1 this is not loop because this is a reverse direction so any other loop is there so look this point look at this point g2 h1 but h1 is we have the minus so first next we will better to write the loops loop so we have only one loop that one loop is g2 minus h1 g2 into minus h1 then you have minus g2 h1 is the one loop okay uh, is there any loop so if you start from here g1 g2 h1 and there is a reverse direction there is no loop okay we don't have any loops here this is the only one loop any non-touching loop so always will be touched we have only one loop so we can write forward path so i can write the transfer function like this that is um, p1 del1 p2 del2 by 1 minus sum of individual loop gains sum of individual loop gains means we have only g2 h1 loop so 
P1 gain is G1 into G2 and P1 del 1 is there any del 1 del 1 means non touching loop of forward path 1 so look at here it touching the forward path so there is no next second P2 gain forward path gain is G3 G2 and any non touching to the del 2 so we have only one loop that will be touched in the this again 1 minus 0 so 1 plus G2 H1 so therefore the transfer function of the given block diagram value is like this G1 G2 plus G3 G2 by 1 plus G2 H1 1 plus G2 H1 okay this is the transfer function for the above block diagram above block diagram so we will discuss more number of problems then you will understand very easily because if you observe here we have gains values increases that time the finding the transfer function is very difficult that's why we are using this formula that formula is Mawson's gain formula okay I think all of you understand this session okay thank you